What is going on, everybody? Thank you for tuning in to another edition of On the Road to Victory. I'm your host, Jimmy Smith, and I hope you're all having yourselves a great Friday. Went through, already talked about the top 10 matchups earlier today. Hopefully, you were able to catch that video. If you didn't, go check it out. But appreciate you taking the time right now. We are not live, but we will be live tonight for Fan Friday. So I hope to see you then. But right here, right now, we've got the injury report from practice today. Now, usually, it's the game status report on Fridays, but because the game is on Monday, you'll get that tomorrow. So keeping you up to date with injuries from both teams, and we've got some changes and uh, some people added here. So let's go over both teams' injuries here. Love to hear your thoughts. Appreciate you taking the time, hitting that like button, subscribing, everything you're doing to support the channel. Let's jump right into this bad boy. We're going to start it off with the Eagles injury report. And you know, dealing with a plethora of injuries last week, this week, it starts off, looks scary, people freaking out. But as I've said, the last couple of years, if you had been paying attention, you would see these lists are always like this for the Eagles. A lot of guys limited. They are very precautious with their players. They like staying healthy throughout the season. So not against it at all, but I see the media using it as a tool to get people enraged. So no need to lose your mind here. It is a long list, but uh, let's talk about it. Let's put some context behind this. Now, Blankenship, Bradbury, Cox, and Gainwell, all, all those guys were full participants. So not on the injury report anymore. Fantastic news, especially considering three of those guys missed the game last week. So fantastic. You get some starters back there. But then you see Cunningham limited with that rib injury. You see Jordan Davis as well. And then you've got Boston Scott, who actually was a non-participant yesterday. He suited up to limited practice, so that's great news. And then you've got Devontae, Stoll, and Sweat. Now, if you remember the last couple of years, literally these guys will show up all the time. It will be this massive list, but I will talk you through it. No need to fear. But the one person down below, Quez Watkins, dealing with a hammy injury, that is concerning. Now, Terrell Edmonds, he also didn't practice today, but it's an illness. So hopeful that you know by tomorrow he's at least limited or back in action in some form. But again, you know, you have until Monday to play. So got some time there. Not looking good for Quez. We've talked about it. Maybe the Eagles look to add a Hunter Renfro. I know they brought Covey up, but I've got some other ideas there. Maybe some Olamide. He hasn't been looking great so far this year. I'll be honest with you. I haven't seen him in the return game. So I don't know. Maybe we see some different things there. But um, other than that, you know, this to me, you know, people freak out. That's good news to me. Getting all those players back. Having some guys limited is a normal thing. So best of luck to Edmonds and Watkins these next couple of days. But those are the only two, really, that you need to be concerned about for this game on Monday that could miss. So really, it's Watkins and Edmonds. But tomorrow will be the game status report. So we'll see if they even get the questionable tag or what's going on with them. But that's all I've got for the Eagles for you. Now let's take a gander here at the Tampa Bay Buccaneers injury report and they actually had to add a couple of players, and one of them, star linebacker Devin White. And, you know, he was limited, so that's a good sign there. You know, if they're just missing practice, that's not good at all. But they also added their right guard, Cody Malk. So a back and a groin for those two keeps them limited. Vita Vey and Carlton Davis both were limited again. Uh, you're hoping they're good to go, two of their best on defense there. Ryan Neal was upgraded to a full participant, so that's fantastic news for them. But Servaccia Dennis and Kalaji Kansi also missed practice again today. So a couple of changes there. We'll be keeping our eyes on both of these injury reports. The game status report will come out tomorrow. I will drop that around 4 or 5. Whenever it comes out and I can make the graphics, we will talk about who is questionable, who is out, I'll give you an updated look at the depth charts for both teams. And then the next day will be the practice squad elevations with another updated depth chart with the new players added in. But if you have any questions, any comments on this stuff, please feel free to ask down below. You just want to talk about something else, feel free. Uh, you're watching a different video. And look, man, I'm going to continue to keep you up to date with everything. And I appreciate all the love you guys have been you know, sharing this stuff, hitting the like button, subscribe, everything you're doing really means the world and all your comments look you guys you're truly too kind and tonight is our show it's your show fan friday 
And it's the time where we get to come together and uh, just shoot the shit, talk about this season. And I know there's a lot to talk about. So I hope to see you then. Hope you're having a great Friday. I mean, it's Friday. Come on, baby. Eagles on Monday. So uh, we're going to try to have some fun this weekend and then uh, watch the birds kick some ass on Monday. But I'll be back a little later. Until then, I'm Jimmy Smith, and this is On the Road to Victory. Hope you're all having yourselves a great day. Stay safe out there, and as always, say it with me now. Go Birds!